writing a song, got a riff, wondering how it's gonna sound with the band playing along? So come with me, let's make it great together. In this video, I am sharing with you some tools, tips and tricks to take your riff to the next level. Let's play over drums and bass. If you got a riff, this video has everything you need to know. My name is Marco Saboy and this is the Guitar and Coffee Show. If you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel. Down below in the description box you can find timestamps, gear details, links and a lot of cool stuff. But for now, let's go for what we came for. The riff is gonna be over a very simple chord progression. E major 7 sharp 9, A major, G major and it goes like this. We can add some chromatics to start sounding like a riff. I think we can go a bit further. Now it's sounding really like a riff, but we can improve it. A very nice and common way to improve a riff is slicing the repetitions. So in our case we have four parts. One and three we can call ask and two and four we can call response. The ask we keep the same, but the responses we change a little bit. Let's try it. Between the two chromatic phrases we can add something. Let's try it. Whoa, the riff is sounding much more promising, but you know, the drummer can change completely the direction of the riff. Let's play with four different grooves to understand how the drummer can impact your riff.
Whoa, the driver can make all the difference. The riff can get very powerful and very boring. What's the groove you like it the most? All of them? None of them? I will stick with funky. But Motown is also very good. But now, let's add the bass. The bass can play the same notes of the guitar, but also can go in a very different direction, having its own groove. Let's try both of them and let's pick one. Two very good bass lines. Which one did you like the most? Let me know down below in the comments. But now, let me get back to the guitar. Now you know how the drums and bass can change drastically the direction of your riff. If you want your bandmates to better understand your idea, I would recommend you to create MP3s or videos. But if you really want to go further, I would recommend a couple of softwares. For the songwriting process, I would recommend Tune Track Easy Drummer and Tune Track Easy Bass. For the music sheets, Guitar Pro 7. And to put everything together, create your MP3 and send to your bandmates, Logic Pro. This is what I use. I hope this video is helpful for you and you can create now better riffs. If so, smash the like button. For more videos like this, consider subscribing to the channel, but for now, that's all folks, keep yourself rocking, safe, alive and kicking. See you!